Hot 104.1, St. Louis' source for hip-hop and norm. B, it's Princess Storm. You already know, Ladies Night Radio is in full effect. And I have the homegirl. Everybody homegirl. What's up? It's Queen Naja. <laughs> Queen Naja in the building. What's poppin'? How you doing today? I feel good today. You ate some fried chicken? Yes, I had some fried chicken, some potatoes, some bacon, <laughs> some... Stop fruit. eating that bacon. I mean, but I only have one piece. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. One piece. I usually don't eat bacon, but... Okay. Well, you know, today it was there, so I had to. Everybody feel like they know you from YouTube. Yeah. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? Like, just this my mama, this my daddy, this the baby. What made you want to do that? First of all, I didn't start by myself. Uh-huh. I would, uh, I probably would have never started YouTube had it not been for my last relationship, because mm-hmm. I w- really wasn't out there. We um we was going viral on um Instagram and stuff like that, and then we transitioned our fan base to YouTube so mm-hmm. that we could um capitalize and get money off of. Okay. But. I love doing it. Don't get me wrong. It, yeah. just, it, it just became my job. Yeah. Um, then when things start go- turning a different way, you know, I built my own channel, my own brand so that I could have something to fall back on. So by that time, people already knew who I was. was. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. I have to say, you know, we all feel like we deserve a show. You going to take this to like VH1, Mona Scott? I'll, hopefully one day. Yeah. Well, I think somebody needs to call Mona and tell her Queen Naja needs to be next. I hope so. It's going to happen. You got to speak into existence. I mean, I, I would love a reality show, but without, uh, like, a real reality, reality show. show. A real one. They can't be giving you, like, hey, Najee, we go Say this. No. You got to throw the drink no, in them. Not, not- no, 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 no. Okay. Real. All real. That's what I am. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. When I was in St. Louis today and I was going around, I was like, is Queen Najee really here? Like, where's she going to be at? I'm like, yeah. I can't tell you. Is she going to get mad at me? They be doing that. They be calling, too. They'll call They us. just called up to the radio station. I know. I've seen it. How has that transitioned for you? What do you mean? From being like just able to walk down the street to go to the grocery store by yourself? I can't go anywhere now without at least somebody knowing who I am. Right. Or trying to take a picture. But it's okay. You cool with it? Yeah, I'm fine. Like, I don't get irritated or anything. Like, at least, you know, I know I got love. Yeah. The song, um, the single Medicine, Mm -hmm. is dope. Thank you. You got every girl singing, Mm -hmm. feeling like they've been through something if they ain't been through nothing in a year or two. Yeah. So how was this like therapy for you? What made you want to write a song about it? It's just a way. It's just an outlet, mm-hmm. you know, to get my um, my feelings and my emotions and my pain experience and let other people know what I've been through. Most people go and they like write on Facebook or Twitter and stuff, you know, just to vent. But I vent through music. So one thing I got to say is everybody sees stuff on social media and they always say like goals like you say y'all were couple goals mm-hmm. y'all was relationship goals and then like when a breakup do happen was it hard for you um first of all it it wasn't hard for me to leave at the moment because i had already been so you fed left up. him yeah okay. I, I had been fed up like a lot mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so like it took a long time for me to get to that point um i i would say the hardest part wasn't leaving I would say the hardest part was just going through it and being like, you know, the embarrassment and Mm -hmm. things like that. For girls out there that are out there in a relationship and they do go through an embarrassment and they on Facebook and they on Twitter writing stuff, what would you say to them? I would say don't say nothing unless you're going to really leave because if you say something about your relationship and then you go right back to him and you taking pictures with him, they're going to call you dumb like But you know we love him. That's why we go back. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, but we just be in our feelings for the still, moment. But still, just really makes you look stupid, honestly. Yeah. And I and I ain't gonna lie, mm-hmm. I was one of those people. Yeah. You know, I used to I used to do that, but then I stopped. Of course, I stopped putting everything on social media, and I just start telling like friends and things like that. You know. Now I know they gotta be hard because like your, f- I know you say you don't like to call them fans, your supporters. Mm-hmm. Um, they are so used to you sharing so much. Yeah. Now, do you feel like you can't share as much? Now I do keep things a little bit more private mm-hmm. because I've learned from the past that like the more you um put out there the more people have an they they can have an opinion yeah. on everything and then like they can say this and that and you know it kind of will affect you if they say the wrong thing so I choose not to put out everything and um it's really just like all about timing when you're ready yeah. to release certain things so after the breakup Mm-hmm. How long did you wait without talking to somebody before you got with somebody else? Um. Well, first of all, I didn't. It was that's a hard question because I was kind of like talking to uh, Claire as a friend mm-hmm. uh, for the longest when I after I left 
the house, mm-hmm. like started talking to him heavy, you know, friendly, you know, just friends, you know, like that. Um, and right. then you know we met up and things like that, and we just became more friends, and you know, a month, two months, a year. I would say it's been, it's been, it's it's close to a year now. It's, it was since September. Okay, I talk, so that's cool. I don't know how many months that is. I can't count right now. I don't know. I'm asking you because yeah. I'm a savage. Like you said in your song, I'd be like, oh, Listen, I'm I moving on. I'm not, a, but, I, but I'm not about that. No, Literally, I know like, you're not. I'm telling me. I'm just saying I'm that so- I'm not like, you know, I just met someone that like I, I felt like um, really supported me like how I've never been supported before. And yeah. like, you know, helped me like told me that I could be that I'm bad all by myself and like made me feel like I don't need anyone made me feel more independent. Right. And I feel like coming from a man, that's really like important when they help you build yourself and not try to make everything about them. Tell it again. Cause girls on Instagram, they just be looking at the posts and that's all they want. They be looking mm-hmm. at the pictures and the captions they be writing. I'm like, y'all know it's deeper than this, right? Yeah. They don't really focus on that. No, nah, they don't. What are you talk captions about? What though? Like, you know how you make a caption and they just be like, Oh, I need a bay, something, something. They got no, nothing to do with the picture. No, it's a lot deeper, like, because he could be fine as ever, but if he don't, if he puts you in a place where, like, you feel like you, you're broken, and mm-hmm. then, like, really, it's not worth it. So, what's something that you and Clarence love to do together? That's, like, oh, every time we do it's like, cooking, is it, like, going shopping, <laughs> is it, like... We like to make money. Yeah, okay, well, I like that. He back there yeah. nodding and said, y'all like, like to, to make, make money. money. I ain't mad at that. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like um, you could date somebody who was afraid of the camera or didn't want to be in the spotlight? You know what I mean? Like if they didn't want to take pictures at all? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know that to answer to that. Okay. I always tell people, like, I think that people should date people that are similar to them. Yeah. I know they say opposites attract. I feel feel that way, too. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it could be a lot harder without... With like being with somebody that can't really relate to or understand what you're going through, and you know, because they probably would want you to themselves, and they would probably sometimes get jealous. Mm-hmm. And, like if you with somebody that like y'all both have something going for yourself, and like y'all both out there, I feel like it could be easier because y'all could understand mm-hmm. each other. Like yeah, when y'all are busy and things like that, they get it. Yeah, they you ain't gotta explain that much. Yeah, with um your single medicine, did you let him hear it before you put it out? Of course not. Why I not? just put it out. So Let who hear it? Nobody. Mm. Oh, grrr, oh, that's flat. All right. <laughs> so what's the next single? What's the next EP? What's the next move that you got going on? Uh, my EP will be dropping um, the second week of July. Okay. And before that drops, I believe I'll just put out another single, which is Karma. Okay. I don't know if y'all heard it. I performed it like in Columbus just one time. Okay. But um, I'll be dropping the next single. So y'all have something else to listen to besides medicine. Okay. Okay. Well, so. that dose of medicine is amazing. And, we- and thank you so much. And make sure you can tell them where they can follow you. Oh, follow, follow me on, me on Instagram. Media. Queen Naja, that's Q-U-E-E-N-N-A-I-J-A. And then on Twitter, the same way, but three A's. So Queen, your real name. Oh, uh, that's on my birth certificate. I heard, some, I heard you talking to them about that. Yeah. I'm naming my daughter Queen. Oh, for sure. I feel honored. Okay. All right. Keep it locked right here. Only on Hot 104.1.